Hi, I want to show you this new mobile application which performs the model response spectrum analysis for 3 to 30 level structures. It goes step by step through the whole analysis so it also works as a teaching method. Before I continue, I want to thank the editorial Pearson for giving me permission to use the following book Dynamics of Structures Theory and Applications to Earthquake Engineering. It is the fourth edition and the author NFK Chopra. I'm going to use an example of a five-level building in order to demonstrate the app's accuracy. So let's go to page 531. And here we have some characteristics of the building. The mass at each floor is going to be 100 kilopounds. And we have to divide it by the gravity and the stiffness, 31.54 kilopounds per inch. So we select the app, we press continue, and here we have to enter the number of levels, in this case five, and over here for the units, kilopound, inch, and second. Then we have to enter the mass for each floor. I already have those values here, so we have to enter 0.259 and that's for each level and then for the stiffness we have to enter 31.54 and once we finish we only have to press over here calculate and we get like a um, brief introduction uh, we also have some description about the building we have the mass uh, the stiffness for each floor we have the mass matrix we have the stiffness matrix and the first result we have the aging values the angular velocities periods and frequencies so let's compare the first results here um, for example for the periods we have for the first level uh, two seconds and here we have 2.004 uh, for the second one we have 0 0.6852 and here we have let me make it a little bit bigger uh, 0 0.6853 uh, for the third one, 0 0.4346, 0 po 0 0.4347, then we have 0 0.3383, 0 0.3384, and for the last one, 0 0.2966 seconds, 0 0.2967 seconds. So the accuracy so far is working pretty well. Uh, if we continue, we have the mode shapes. We also have over here the normalized mode shapes. Um, so let's compare, for example, the first mode. So if we go to the following page, here at page 483, we have a little diagram about the uh, structure, and here we have the normalized mold shapes. So let's compare just the first one. Um, the first result we have 0 0.334 and here we have 0 0.333. So if we round it up we're going to get basically the same value. Uh, let's compare the second one. 0 0.641, 0 0.6406, 0 0.895, 0 0.895, 1.078, 1.077, 1.173, Again, if you round up all these numbers, basically you get the same results. Now, if you want to pause the video and compare the other four mode shapes, uh, you will see that they are the same values. 
So if we continue, we have uh, two proofs of orthogonality. We also have the participation factor for each mode. And even the percentage for all of the modes over here, we have 100%. And in this part here, we have to enter the spectral acceleration. So if we go to page 572, uh, the spectral acceleration, we have to uh, multiply this coefficient to the gravity. So I already have those values here to make it faster. So uh, the first one, we have 53.087. For the second one, 217.29. Then 314.62. 302.57 and 292.84 and then we press enter then we press continue now we have uh, the absolute displacements relative displacements and shear forces so in this page we have the absolute displacement, so we can compare uh, again just the first mode. So for the first level, we have 1.916, 1.917, then 3 3.617, 3.678, 5.139, 5.142. 6.136, 6 6.139, 6.731, 6.735. So again, if you pause the video and check the other four modes, you will see that um, they are basically the same. If we go down here, uh, you will see that we have the shear forces uh, for the first mode at the base or the first level we have 60.469 and we have 60.465 if we go up to the fifth mode we have 0 0.595 and here we have 0 0.594 so the app is running pretty well Now, if we go down here, we will see that we have extra results. For example, the angular velocities, and we have those values at the top. For example, here, uh, we have 3.1416, 3.1410, 9 9.170, 9.168, uh, 14.4561, and for the last one, 21.1810, 21.1764. So again, they are basically the same values. Now if we go at the bottom, Uh, we also have here uh, the final results using a model combination. In this case, a square root of sum of squares. And here, if you press this part, you will get the location of all these analyses in a text file. So uh, let's check how to use it. So we go to the file explorer. We look for the device. Then we go to this binder, Android. Then data. And here you have to look for uh, this binder, com.demaster. Go to files. 
and we have the document here so if you open the document um, what you can do is just select everything copy and then if we go to Excel and open a new file we can just paste everything and this happens um, in this cell we have all this information so it's not like uh, in its own column each value so what you can do here is just select everything here then go to data and you will see that uh, there's an icon that says text by columns um, so you only have to click that one select the first option I have everything here in Spanish but in English it is the same so you only have to press over here um, continue or next then comma next and then finish and you will see that now is like number or text is uh, in its own column so you can do like further calculations graphs or just modify some text if you want to do so now you get the app in the play store as model response spectrum analysis i will give you the link in the description and well that's it i hope you like the video and have a wonderful day bye